No motivational vlog because we didn't find anything yesterday. Uh, we didn't find any snakes yesterday, at least. Um, the snakeless day is, that's, is that our first snakeless day of the trip? We got a single snake? It's our yep. first one. And we found a DOR gopher snake, bull, bull snake at least. That was, uh, you know, it was Sad. pretty fresh hit. So, you know, we'll kind of count that. <laughs> And you got Waffle House now. Cute little Tucson Waffle House with the cactus. I love it. There was an adorable old man named Freddy who was named as said world's best greeter. I loved it. He really was. There's also a woman on her phone reading something on her phone with a magnifying glass. That was wonderful to see. Yeah. Now we're going to go park some mountain somewhere in the heat. I don't know. I just kind of. I want to feel the elements. I want to feel what it's like to be shirtless in the desert walking on rocks for no reason. Not even going to find anything. But I'm just going to do it anyways. And then tonight, I'm going to go and find a bunch of stuff, hopefully. It's tricky because we drove eight hours to get out to Arizona. And again, I love being here regardless, but I would really like to see some of my target species. Hoping it can happen. But yeah, we're gonna have to make sure we um, bring lots of water out there. It's gonna be very hot and um, dehydration kills. You know that um, dehydration actually, wait. <sighs> what did I say? I forgot what you started. Did you know that um, a dehydration is actually a myth uh, made by water companies because uh, dehydration doesn't actually kill anyone? Think about it. Have you ever, have you ever, um, known anyone who has died from dehydration? Just smell them, they're not that bad. <laughs> dude, just smell them. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alex, dude. We'll just do before and after. See if you'll do it after the hike. Oh man. Dude, birds are just so cool. I love birds so much. They're the best. We need a flashlight. You know there are dens in here, right? There's like holes and stuff. That was a serious question. You know, so we're gonna try to hike to the top of that. Wait, let me, let me. Let's go, we're gonna start the hike. Come along, come with us. Isn't it beautiful? Harris, how you holding in there? Harris is having a hard time with it. So now Alex has his bag too. Bro is double bagged. We're getting closer. Alex, stop. Alex, move. Alex! There's a, uh, a bird's nest in that Victoria. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out. It's windy, but we made it. Now it's a suntan. Huh? Yeah, it's so cool. I'm vlogging it. Uh, we're back at the car. I forgot my It's like that one. No, I think it's behind. You can't even see it here. So I just went two thirds of the way back up the mountain. I look back and I see that Alex and Harris are at the car um, and then the car doors are open. So I said, oh, somehow either they found my drop keys or uh, I must have given my keys to Harris and somehow I forgot. Black memory, trying to remember. Hike back down. Turns out that I just left the car unlocked and the keys are still up the mountain somewhere. So we're about to go back. A new target species, the bungalow's keys. Alex, how's the poop? How's the poop holding in going? So when Alex has to go poop, he sits down on a rock <laughs> to like push his butt close so that it doesn't come out. This man just got up and sprinted over there. He's held his poop for three weeks before the time. Okay, we got the keys, praise God. Um, they're just at the very top of the mountain, so that was fun. Anyways, um, now, yeah, that car just went on top of the curb. I do that sometimes. Now, any cool snake we find today, we can say it's because of, uh, consequentially, any DOR that's pretty fresh we find, by about, fresh by an hour and a half, we can blame on the keys. Okay, we're gonna try uh, road cruising tonight for most of it. We're gonna hike some, but we're gonna try road cruising. 
Dude, I want to go play in that habitat. That looks phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hike it because this habitat's way too cool. Yo, do you want me to hold on to your keys for you, bro? <sighs> it's pretty cool up here. Alex, who still has not pooped, is now sitting on another rock. I'm trying to hold it in. That's the face of a man concentrated on not pooping his pants. This, uh, this lichen is so cool. It's a, it's from Mexico. It's, it's called a vine snake, right? Or a twig snake, right? A vine snake. A vine snake. There, it, it's like, it's one of the hardest snakes to find in Arizona. This, the tourist of hook nose and the green rat snake are probably the three rarest snakes in all of Arizona. That's good. Holy crap. What in the the world? only way to find them that I know of is hiking this one river. I've never heard of someone cruising this ever. Dude. Oh my gosh. Let's go, bro. Bro, this is so I trippy. saw that and I was like, it's, I didn't think I didn't it was think a snake. snake. And then, like, then I was like, oh my gosh, I, thought, I think I, I hit a snake. Might have hit it. I thought it was like a racer. I didn't think it was a racer. Oh my gosh. I didn't think, I thought it was a snake. I saw it and I literally thought it was a snake. That is bananas. The trip is saved in a weird way. In terms of herping, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, I guess we should. You're right, here, here, here. Okay. Well, you're, especially you're so excited. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you vlog around that? No, let me start it. Okay. Um, we just cruised a uh, vine snake. Arizona. I, I I don't know much of I wouldn't even know that this existed in Arizona if it wasn't for Berkeley um and his and what they like mildly venomous or something? Oh he bit me twice. Oh that's fine. That's fine. Oh <laughs> <laughs> oh anyways I wouldn't even know this existed at all if it wasn't for Berkeley and his amazing post about these snakes <laughs> talking about how he targeted it for so long and how excited he was to like finally get one and how cool it was for him. Um he was over the moon that he got the snake. We just saw it in the road um, while cruising at an area we've never been to before, and I just didn't even realize it was a snake at first. I thought it was like an actual like twig or something, and um, I didn't realize as we went past it, its head was up a little bit, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is right on the tail of that snake. I ran back thinking to see like a racer or something in the road, hopefully not hit, and it's this guy. That doesn't happen, I don't he's think. He's not hit. No, he's not. He's fine. I don't think that, I don't think that happens. This is so interesting. Yeah, he's not. He's just in a bunch of He's fine. Dude, that is the wackiest thing ever. I see his rare fangs back there. Can you get close up in this? That is super interesting. Yeah, it hurts when you bit me. Oh, it's hurting there too. Yeah, don't get bit. It's like burning. <laughs> yeah, it definitely hurts a little bit. Wow. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's the. um. It's, it's, isn't it called something vine snake? Is it the brown vine snake, Alex? Maybe it's brown vine snake. Something vine snake. I know this is supposed to be like an Arizona S tier. Um, I think. Anyways, it's a lifer for all of us and a species I never thought I'd see. Um, it's my cousin Kelly's favorite snake. I wish she was, wish she was here for it. But yeah, that's a good way to start our night. After a snakeless day yesterday, um, happy to finally have this that's guy. So cool. Yeah, it's like a ride at four foot. That's incredible. That's awesome. And you didn't wash it? I don't know how you wash tape. Well, if I'm, holding it, if I'm holding it like around this part, that should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, put this guy back down the road, see if he'd cross it and um, sort of like in situ. And uh, he's doing some really cool behavior, actually. That's really neat. Put me on the finger again there. Okay. Dude, yeah, that is so wacky. Just raised up like that? That is so dope. Harris! He's like gone. Oh, we just found a green rat snake. Um, Harris, you okay, man? Bro, what? Bro, are you kidding me right now? We just found two of Arizona's rare snakes back to back. That was like, that was, we were on the road five minutes. Harris, you okay? What did you do? Dude, I just like wiped out so hard. I'm really sorry, man. Dude, that sucks.
Fine. Anyways, the, um, this <laughs> is like this is the best Arizona herpings anyone had in Arizona in like forever. Really? Yeah. Like, Terms of yeah. Inside, in front of. Ow! Your glutes look good though. Yummy. <laughs> Anyways, all right, that's crazy. Okay, so yeah, um, these are some of the most sought after species in Arizona, and we just found both of them in five minutes. Never been on this route before ever. Never tried to target either of these species. Um, never had hopes of seeing them. So all glory to God. This doesn't usually happen. This is really strange. We heard all day yesterday and didn't find anything in Arizona. What do we got? It, nothing. And I'm gonna... Uh, yeah. I don't even know if I got it in video. I don't think I did. I literally said to him, as we're Alex, as we're releasing the vine snake, let's go cruise a green rat snake. And we did five minutes later. Alex, what did you say? You said that's I not said, gonna happen. I said, no, I said let's. Don't count it. Bro, I've been saying this whole time. From the second that we got here, this place looks snaky. Dude, I have a good feeling. My optimism has come okay, back. Okay. We're going to find a snake. Okay. And then after we found the first snake, Mine I said, I not. think we're going to find another good one. And y'all are so, like, oh, I don't know, dude. Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> got a, a life for a canyon tree frog here. It's pretty cool. But again, they were here first. You know, like, it wasn't like, like I accidentally touched my face. My nose is itchy. I itched my nose with a canyon frog mucus on it and then my nose is burning my lips are burning Dang. i regret that decision okay so we didn't cruise any other snakes the whole night live or dead so far the only two snakes we've seen in the entire state of arizona are two of the hardest species to find so um not really our targets but uh we'll take it and ain't that just the way i don't know we're just gonna, I don't really have anything else to say. We can't end the vlog now. Alex, any comments, remarks? Huh? Any just remarks or comments? Make sure the rat snake's still alive. You're so bad. We don't actually have the rat snake, of course. Good night. Uh,